Live to the showground now and talk to Matt. This is Matt Mason. He's a Royal Marine who's based in Plymouth. He's at the county show there talking to people about a world record attempt he's about to have a go at, rowing 550 nautical miles across the Arctic Ocean. Hi, Matt. Tell us about this. How are we doing, Michael? Uh, thanks for having us on. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be rowing from Tromsø in North Norway, uh, 550 nautical miles to uh, Svalbard, which is about 500 miles from the North Pole. So it's going to be absolutely freezing. Hopefully we'll see some lovely whales and some uh, great wildlife. But uh, yeah, pre pretty nervous about how cold it's going to be. Yeah, I mean, it, it will, I'm sure, be great wildlife. But I mean, this is one of the most northerly land masses, well, in the world and certainly in Europe, isn't it? Yeah, and there's only 13 people that have ever ever attempted to row across this this stretch of ocean, uh, and we're going to be the first four person team. Um, hopefully, if we do that, we'll be the fastest four person team as well, and probably a couple of other records to come with it. Um, so we are really, really excited to uh, to get that far now. I think and, and give it a crack. Now, I would ask why are you trying to row to Svalbard, but being Royal Marines, I guess the answer is something like because it's there. Well, that, that is one of the reasons, you know, it, it is there and it'd be, it'd be really cool to get, get the records. But the, the main reason is that we're going to be raising uh, money and um, awareness for YMCA Exeter. Uh, we've got a real uh, close relationship with them, with the, the work that they do with young people in the southwest. Uh, we think they're a great charity for what they do, for the mental health support that they provide. Um, so we just want to give a little bit back uh, and support them in, in, in some way. And this is a great way to do it. That sounds fantastic. And it is an incredible challenge that you're putting yourselves through. I know you'll have put a huge amount of research into this and looked into it and considered what the the toughest parts are going to be. What What's concerning you most? I think the, the because we're so exposed, I think uh, what, ma what makes this row dangerous is just how cold the water is. So if, for whatever reason, we end up in the water, whether we capsize in adverse weather or just how much we're, you know, we hit a storm and we're constantly getting drenched because we're about, I don't know, 40 centimetres off, off, off the waterline, um, it's just how that's going to affect us. Uh, and if we get some, certainly if we capsize and we have a bit of exposure in them, them, them temperatures, um, it's, it's going to be quite dangerous. So we've got to, we've got to be on the ball. We've got to have the right kit and equipment, uh, which we do have. Um, and hopefully we'll, we'll get the weather as well. How do you cope with getting some rest, getting some sleep? Uh, we're going to be rowing two hours on, two hours off, um, which sounds absolutely horrific, but your body does just naturally get into it. You know, uh, it, you, at night we're going to look to, well, at night it's not actually going to, the sun's not going to set. So at night we're going to look to do four hours on, four hours off if, if it's not too cold and we're not spending too long on decks. So then we, you get a good sleep and four hours sleep for, for any parents out there. Four hours is is, a, is dreamland, isn't it? It's, a, it's perfect. So hopefully uh, we'll get plenty of sleep, 12 hours a day. Um, uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes. Just have to roll with it, you know. It's one of them things where you just got to roll with the punches, haven't you, and, sit and see and see what, what comes up. I love the way you make it sound kind of inconsequential, really, Matt. Where are you going to get 12 hours sleep a day? It's going to be fine. <laughs> you've, got, you've got to look at the positives and everything, haven't you? If, if, <laughs> if the reality hits, which I'm sure it will about three days out, out uh, you know, We'd be, in a, we'd be in a different state of uh, mindset. But, you know, you've got to have a, you've got to look positive. At every, you know, you've got to find every positive uh, spin on things, haven't you? Otherwise, you, you, you'll never do anything. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. And I think it's absolutely admirable what you're doing. What are your mates making to it? Um, well, we've just we've just crossed the North Atlantic. We've just rode a boat from New York to London. Um, so this is sort of part and parcel of, of, of what we do. Um, mm. But it's, it's a different extreme going this far north. So I think there's a bit of concern, again, with, with that capsizing in those sort, sorts of uh, waters. Um, so I think, I think yeah, they think we're a bit crazy, a little bit mad. Um, but, but they love it, you know. They, they love uh, hearing the stories when we get back of the wildlife we've seen, the stories, that's, you know, the things that's happened on board. Um, so, yeah, I think that they're as excited as we are. Interesting. You talk about rowing across the Atlantic. That is obviously further. Which do you think is going to be the tougher challenge? I, th I think they're both equally as as tough as each other because, you know, you row across the mid-Atlantic, it's, you know, 30-odd degrees. The water's 27 degrees, so when you get hit by a wave, it's quite nice and warm. <laughs> um, we're, we're, the North Atlantic, it's a bit colder, a bit more ferocious, um, but not quite as cold. And the Arctic's just going to be, you know, anywhere from minus five to, to plus five, um, depending on wind chill. So, you know, that's going to add a real different dynamic to this to this crossing. Uh, and, it's, you know, as a team, we're really excited to experience it and see, see how it's going to feel, you know, and if we can cope with it. 
Well, good luck with it, Matt. I know we'll try and keep in touch and, and follow your progress with, with great interest. How's the show today, by the way? Oh, it's, oh, it's, it's brilliant. It's absolutely ram. I've never seen so many tweed jackets, gilets and flat caps in my life. Honestly, the food's fantastic. Uh, it's been it's been a brilliant day. Um, and we've been, been engaging with so many people. It's been fantastic. You are in the home of the gilet. <laughs> it, it literally is the home of the gilet as well. I've never seen so many. <laughs> Matt, good to speak to you. Good luck. Keep in touch. Cheers. Thanks a lot, Michael. Take care. That's Matt Mason, Royal Marine, based in Plymouth. He and his team are going to be rowing 550 miles across the, the uh, not the Atlantic, the Arctic Ocean from Tromso in northern Norway to the island of Svalbard. So shout out to Matt and to his namesake, Matt Ingalls, uh, Somerset-based businessman Mark Seeley and Colin Hiscock as well. They've got no support vessels. The crew is going to be entirely self-sufficient. It's quite a challenge. Morning, 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 morning. 